This is Dee with Divine Needle, and this is a reading for our Cancer sun signs. Can apply to any other sun sign, or because uh, it, you know, collective energy, um, or your rising um, moon or Venus, right? Cancer. This is for June the 20th through the 26th, and I just got a notification of a heat wave. Interesting. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. So, Cancer, your um, energy is the underworld. Uh, not surprising with the way the planets are laid out right now. And um, the strongest energy coming towards you this week is the medallion. <clears throat> anyway, so your energy, the underworld... This is no time to mince words. The archetypal territory of the underworld is fraught with nightmares, suffering, and pain. It is the darkest shadow realm, which we try vigilantly, sorry, vigilantly, <laughs> I can't even pronounce words, sorry about that, to avoid or deny at any cost. I shall blame Mercury retrograde for my tongue not working, sorry. Try as we might, the darkness pulls us into its depths through disturbing dream images, unexpected accidents, illness, war, conflict, and ultimately death. Not visiting the underworld or denying its existence altogether is what gives its dangerous power. Transversing it forces us to bow humbly to the greater forces that be, while summoning the inner strength we previously underestimated. Take solace that the underworld subsumes everyone from time to time, making us deeper friends, more intimate partners, soldiers of light amid our shadowy times. Facing darkness and choosing light is the most profound calling of all. So you're going to be fake it, facing some sort of darkness this coming week. Uh, unfortunately, it appears Gemini might be too, so you're not alone. The medallion. <clears throat> Strongest energy coming towards you. The amulet, the tals talisman, the heirloom. The passing on of sacred objects is an ancient ritual within families, between lovers, and in tribes across the globe. We gift jewels, treasures, keepsakes, and mementos of all kinds, some of great material value, others that hold emotional resonance, and still others with both. Yet when these gifts are bestowed upon us, it is important to recognize that they may bind us to an unspoken agreement or promise. When the medallion card appears, be aware of how the objects you hold dear may be embedded with unconscious energy or expectations. Materials hold consciousness, and it's time to reconcile the vibration of the objects around you. What do you covet and collect? Why? Is there an object you have held onto for years? That you are ready to release. That could be anything. It doesn't have to be just items. It can be people, things, places. Is there an object you have held on to years that you're ready to release? Perhaps it is time to reach for the medallion that aligns with your deepest values. This could even be <clears throat> something like um, a change in energy as far as where you're putting your focus. Um, facing the, the underworld, the hard times, and facing um, those that would... Um, try to control you and trying to move forward trying to reach for something new right 
<laughs> could be a new career, could be a new person, could be just something new in general. Something you value. Your deepest values, okay? Anyway, so let's look. <clears throat> We're going to take a, a card from the lover's path and find out the energy between the underworld and the medallion. What does Cancer need to know this coming week? Between the underworld and the medallion. It's like you're reaching new heights, coming from a really dark place into a new bright, shiny one. Just have to reach for it. Okay, for Cancer. Okay, when the cards don't come out right away, I'm just going to cut. That's your card. <clears throat> Let's find out what it is. Okay, Cancer. Princess of Staves, Brunhild. Okay. Let's find that particular one. New ideas, communications, and enthusiasm. Important communications. Need to listen to inspiration. An inexperienced young person who may be very passionate, but not very experienced. Reverse, too much energy and not enough focus. Ideas and messages that fizzle out after the initial enthusiasm. Try not to let this deep, dark murkiness keep you from attaining that. Okay? Reach for it. Don't stop. Don't give up. Okay. This, the princess of staves is basically the page. That is a strategist. That's fire energy. And it can fizzle out quite quickly. Especially if you let the underworld have its way. You reach for your medallion. That's something new, shiny, that uh, makes you feel good. That is about your... Um, Deepest values, what you value the most, right? Anyway, I hope you have a grand week, Cancer, and the information is in the description box if you would like a to book a private personal video reading. Um, might give you a little more information on this energy, possibly. Anyway, have a very good one, and until next time.